Tommy Bolt was born in Haworth, Oklahoma in 1916. Appropriate since his claim to legendary status came in the Sooner State when he won the 1958 United States Open at Southern Hills Country Club in Tulsa. Bolt died in Cherokee Village, Arkansas on August 30th, 2008, where he lived in retirement for decades, helping hundreds of junior golfers. Everyone knew him there, and all will give you the same comment about his choice of tee times, always late in the day. Bolt always quipped, that's when the good players play. Bolt has been inducted into the World Golf and PGA of America Halls of Fame. He was more than a good player, he was a legend. It was more than appropriate that his play with partner Art Wall in the 1979 Legends of Golf, a runner-up finish against Julius Burroughs and Roberto DiVincenzo, that got the ball rolling for what is now the Champions Tour. Bolt won 15 times on tour, and often it was on classic courses, like Southern Hills. His first tour victory was at Pinehurst No. 2 at the 1951 North and South Open. He also won twice at the Colonial and also at the Los Angeles Open at Riviera. His 12 seniors victories included the PGA Championship. Bolt lived only a little over two years in Oklahoma, leaving the state as his father first looked for work in Paris, Texas, then settling in Shreveport, Louisiana. Tommy's mother died in Oklahoma from the flu. Bolt grew up as a caddy, making his goal to become a touring pro after getting tour pro Al Espinosa's bag for an exhibition at age 13. Espinosa, a flashy dresser, was fresh off a runner-up finish to Bobby Jones in the 1929 U.S. Open at Wingfoot. Years later, Bolt could still give great descriptive flair to Espinosa's dress, something Bolt copied the rest of his life. Shoes were of particular pride for Bolt after he saw Espinosa playing in expensive wingtips. Bolt said he kept every pair of shoes he owned and kept them in pristine condition. Only in retirement did he begin to give away his shoes, always to a young junior at Cherokee Village. Bolt's game was refined during a World War II stint in the Army at the top course in Rome. When he returned to Shreveport, it was obvious that he was the area's best amateur player. He finally hit the tour at age 34. That age was a concern to Bolt, who thought it sounded too old. So he fibbed at the outset of his career, calling himself age 32. That came up during his run to the U.S. Open at Southern Hills when reporters quizzed him. One story had him at 49, obviously wrong by several years. The reporter said it was a typo. Bolt responded, no, it was a perfect four and a perfect nine, end quote. The newspaper men loved Bolt. He was always good copy, but often for the wrong reasons. He was among the game's first club throwers, and the tour eventually put in fines for such tantrums. It was dubbed the Bolt Rule. Bolt's nicknames all reflected his temper. The headlines read, Terrible Tommy, Tempestuous Tommy, or Thunder Bolt. Bolt realized that photographers were following him for 18 holes, looking for a club flying through the air, or would invite them back to the course to pose for a picture of just such an event. Bolt pointed to his ruddy complexion as part of the problem. He said reporters equated a red face to temper, even when it wasn't there, but the temper was there many times. Ben Hogan always remarked, if you could screw a different head on, Tommy would have won many more times, end quote. It was Hogan who solved Bolt's biggest issue, the hook that could get out of control. Hogan changed his left-hand grip, moving his hand to a neutral position. The hooks disappeared. Bolt was forever grateful and generally praised his usual travel partner as the game's greatest player. Comparing Hogan to Jack Nicklaus, Bolt would say, quote, I saw Nicklaus watching Hogan practice, but never Hogan watching Nicklaus, end quote. During his victory at Southern Hills, Bolt made three birdies on the 12th, the famed All-America hole at Southern Hills, a shot maker's showcase. That's what Bolt was, a deluxe shot maker with a molasses slow swing that was the envy of so many of his peers. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome 1958 U.S. Open winner Tommy Bolt to the Oklahoma Golf Hall of Fame.